Now today, I want to showcase something a little bit different. I want to showcase this. This is Empress Gin. As far as flavor profile goes, it's very mild for a gin. It's very good, but it do, it's not too juniper, not too anything like that. It's very mild, very middle of the road, but it makes a gorgeous cocktail, as you can see by the color of it. It's usually a vibrant violet or a purple. It is phenomenal. I use it in almost everything I can. You taste a drink with your eyes and how it looks to you before you even pick up the glass. And this makes for a fantastic cocktail. So I have picked out five cocktails from Empress's website to try to make today, well, to make today with you guys. And we're gonna start that right now. The first one we're gonna make is called the Cucumber Blue. So we're gonna start by putting cucumber, some mint leaves that I am growing on the other side of the studio, right back there. Snap them and snap them. Put some of these in the bottom of the glass, along with just some, uh, just rip the basil up, put that in there. Man, this smells so good. This might be my guido -ness. We're gonna put that all in the bottom of the glass and just muddle it. We're gonna muddle the hell out of it. Just a little slice of cucumber. A little slice of cucumber, the mint and the basil all in the bottom of the glass. I'm just gonna muddle the shit out of it. Set that off. Right, that part can get thrown out. We need two ounces of our Empress. Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna top, put ice in it first. I know I had ice around here somewhere. I'll throw the ice in it first. Put our Empress in. And then we're gonna top it off with some club soda. And to garnish, we're gonna take just a sprig of mint. Wake it up, put that on top, and a nice cucumber wrap that I prepped for the video. The cucumber. Notice how it changed colors. It's got a nice blue tinge to it. Oh man, that's good. It's very good. That is the cucumber blue. Okay, we're recording before I'm quite I'm ready. ready. Not yet, it's fine. But I do need an egg out of the fridge, please. Oh, jeez, these lemons are freaking huge. Again, when I'm not ready. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Still not ready. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> this next one is called the Q1908. Now this is one of my favorites. I've had this before. It is fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an egg white. Now just the white. Come on, give me that delicious egg white. Take the egg white, put it in the shaker. Wipe our hands from egg gross. We take the juice of half of a lemon. Yep, half a lemon, go figure. Clean up because we're not animals. So we're gonna clean up, then we're gonna add the gin. Two ounces, Empress gin. Three quarters of an ounce of simple. That's about a full ounce, it's okay. I won't tell if you don't. Put that in there. Now, being that we are using egg white, you have to dry shake the hell out of it. I don't know if my microphone picked that up. It's already hissing, it's angry. This is the one that will blow out on you. You dry shake the shit out of it to emulsify the egg white. Once you give it a good little shake. <laughs> now it doesn't wanna let go. Just needed some convincing. 
Now, you put your ice in. One pull, and then some little cubes. What's that? No, still didn't want to let go. Now we are going to double strain this into a fizz glass or a sour glass. Now it calls for edible flowers on top. But again, I'm happy with just a sprig of mint. There you have the Q1908. That's good. So for this next one, we have to do a little, little bit of improvising. You, it calls for honey syrup. I don't have honey syrup, but I'm gonna do my best to make an amalgamation of it. So we're gonna put two ounces of water and, and I'm just realizing that that doesn't quite math. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to pour it back into my jigger, about a half an ounce, pour the rest into my ice bowl, pour the half ounce in, and I'm just going to do a touch of honey, just a, just a barest little bit. stir the hell out of it and hopefully that'll make a makeshift honey syrup yeah that'll have to work I don't have any honey syrup <laughs> it is what it is I just don't have honey syrup but next thing this is called the bees knees by the way which honey two ounces of our gin There's such an aesthetically pleasing drink. Two ounces of our gin, half ounce juice of lemon. Can I just? Yeah. That changed the color immediately. Hope the camera picked that up. And then ice. Stir. Now usually when you're stirring a drink, what I like to do is I hold it like this and wait for my pinky to start get, getting cold. You can see a little bit of uh, frost or dew starting to form on the glass. We're gonna strain it into a coop. And then to garnish, we're just gonna do a little lemon twist. If I can find some purchase, there we go. Nope, it's bleeding all over me. Lemon, how dare you? All right, a little bit of an ugly lemon twist, but a lemon twist nonetheless. So we're gonna just put it on there. Can I actually taste the honey the bee's knees. So we're gonna be making a favorite. Now the original recipe calls for it to be stirred, but I think we all know why it's gonna be shaken. We're doing an Empress Martini. Can I get it shaken, not stirred, uh, uh, James Bond reference? No? Uh, okay. Terrible. Two ounces of gin. I already put the ice in here because I started working ahead. Two ounces of gin, Lillet Blanc. Now this is the linchpin. It's a vermouth, but it's a it's a sweet 
I think, for Muth. Maybe I could just look at it and tell. Doesn't say. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. It's, it's for Muth, either way. And per bond code. Uh oh. Per bond code. Shake. Give me all that sweet gin deliciousness. And strain into a granted oversized martini glass. Grapefruit to garnish. I don't know why grapefruit. Oh, this peeler's just not working with me today. Grapefruit. The garnish. I feel like saving the world. The Empress Martini. So for our final one, we're gonna do a play on the Brandy Alexander called the Empress Alexander. So to start, we're gonna do one ounce of heavy whipping cream. And, uh, oh my God, I hate these. One ounce of heavy whipping cream. Now, this is just me personally, but after I use heavy whipping cream or a dairy product, I just like to wipe the inside of this. A half ounce of creme de cacao white. Chat okay? You're giving me weird looks. Huh? Oh, that's a good question, actually. She asked why is it white? Because that's the other creme de cacao. So that's your answer. Next, we're gonna need an ounce and a half of our gin. Try to untwist a cork, that's super smart. An ounce and a half of gin. And then I'm gonna do a little bit now and a little bit in a second, three dashes of cocoa bitters. So one, two, three. Shake. One cubed. Jeez. One cracked. Now we shake the hell out of it. Ew. Frosty. Jeez, it's freezing on the side. That's a good shake. Uh oh. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, that smells good. Give me all that sweet, sweet Empress Alexander. Now, this is why I saved some of the uh, chocolate bitters, because I like to just put a little bit on top. With a couple of dashes of bitter I put on, I just like to give it a little swirl. Just a little swirl. And then just a, a little, little bit of nutmeg as garnish. The Empress Alexander. Let's give it a try. This might be my favorite. This is very good. It's uh, chocolatey. I don't expect that from a gin drink, but I recommend it. So I hear what all you lovely people who watch my videos say. You like the rankings. So I'll give you the ranking. My favorite is the Q1908, followed by the Empress Alexander, 
Oh, hey, that's perfect. Q1908, Empress Alexander Martini. It's just a martini. Uh, the cucumber, the blue cucumber. And then the last one, I think, it's probably the bee's knees because it's gin with a twang of lemon and honey. So, I mean, eh. But yeah, the Q1908 easily wins. So guys, if you like this video and want to see more like this one, please hit the like button, share it out. If you have suggestions, leave them down below. And until then, I'll see you next time.